Hi, I'm Alexander Turnbull from Ray of Paris and Adirant. Today I'm going to do some hairstyling with you on two very similar wigs. Okay, this is Seduction in Sunkiss, which is from the Orchid Collection, and this is beautiful. This is Alexandra from the Alexander Couture Collection, which is my collection. This is in Plumbridge Jam LR. This is also gorgeous. So what am I going to do with these two wigs today? I'm going to do one of my favourite hairstyles. I'm going to do Hollywood Waves. Okay, so what will I need for Hollywood Waves? I'm going to need a soft hairbrush. So I've got my soft hairbrush here, which is fine. So I'm going to put that in my back pocket for now. Now, these wigs have been in my kit for some time. So you can see they're a little bit slightly dishevelled. Let me just show you this one first. I mean, that curl pattern has stayed beautifully. Stayed absolutely beautifully. But I'm just going to move and do my Hollywood waves. And exa exactly, Alexandra, she's been in my kit for some time. So, you know, she's looking a little bit ready for some TLC as well. So, I don't know if you at home, if you've ever tried this on bio hair or wig hair, when you necessarily curl it or you have a curly style and then you brush it through, do you find it gets frizzy? Do you find that it maybe gets a bit of static? What, what have you come across at home? Because I tend to, when I'm doing this kind of work, I tend to find that we need to work against the static. Okay, so for that, I have my new mousse from Bosley MD, and this is the volumizing mousse. Now this stuff is brilliant. It only has a medium hold. Now a medium hold is fine. Okay, any more than a medium hold, it could go a bit sticky. Now remember, less is more. So I've just taken that tiny, tiny amount. And for now, I'm just gonna rub this into my hands. I'm gonna pat this across the, the both of the wigs. And what this is gonna do, it's gonna bind the fiber together just slightly for our hair styling. Okay, so, and it'll stop. So just put a little bit on, like so. Remember, less is more with these products. You don't need to use too much. Just put a little bit of that to help form and bind it together. And again, using a little bit of that mousse again, I'm probably going to come to the front first on Seductions and I'll work with Seductions and Alexandra's together. So I'm just moving the brush through the hair. Now what I like to do is I like to rest one hand up top and then brush in the direction of the wave. So you see how that's starting to come together and get a really beautiful kind of wave to it. So you can see how what I've done here with seduction is I've created that much softer, softer kind of wave within the hair. Now, if you were to get this wet and wash it and let it re-dry, this would re-dry as was. Now, because it's a high heat style, if you were to use high heat in it and straighten it, you would need to recurl it. So just to give you an idea. So we're just gonna leave seduction like that for now. And then now let's have a little brush through of Alexandra and get the wave onto her as well. See, that looks just great. That's the beauty of buying a curly style. And so you can see both of these curly styles have got that gorgeous Hollywood wave to them now, almost like an Oscars kind of feel. Now I'm going back in with the mousse now, ladies and gents. So just using tiny bit more mousse. Now what this will do, now we've kind of got the Hollywood wave in there, if you just gently coat your hands over the hair like so, this will get rid of any flyaways and help form the wave. Right, I'm gonna do something a little bit similar with Alexandra. So again, a tiny bit of product. Remember the mousse, with mousse it swells. So, you know, you end up with more than what you think. So remember, less is more. You'll often hear me say less is more, but it's a very, very important saying within, you know, hairdressing, because you can always come more and add a little bit more product or take a bit more length off or put a bit more color in. But, you know, 
taking it away is hard, so. So, what do you think? Seduction and Alexandra. Two very different wigs, but look very similar from two very different, you know, from two different ranges. This is Alexandra from my range, Alexander Couture Collection. This colour is Plumbery Jam LR. So the LR stands for the long root, hence that ombre effect. And this seduction over here in Sunkiss, again, is a rooted blonde. Looks fantastic, love the bangs, love the curl pattern. And, you know, this high heat style, this will spring back up into shape. We can wash this, get it back into that curl pattern. With Alexandra, same, we can wash that, get that back into that curl pattern. But I just wanted to show you something a little bit different. I love curls, but I also love waves. And just don't think because you buy a curly style that that's all you can do. Because, you know, you can put this nice Hollywood wave into there. I was helped a little bit today from one of my products. I was helped with the Volumizing Mousse from Bosley MD. This stuff is amazing. Very, very light water soluble so when you do rinse the wig it will completely disappear out the hair and that is very very light and what that's enabled me to do is have a mild medium kind of hold so it'll keep the wave bouncy and swingy but without it feeling sticky or it looking contrived so these two young ladies have been done by me alexander turnbull and i've done hollywood waves on these two styles today let me know if you have a favorite or if you're going to try Hollywood Waves yourself, or if you've done anything yourself on a heat-friendly wig, or if you've done any styling on a non-heat-friendly wig that you found helped and worked for you. We'd love to hear it. We'd love your feedback. But for now, from me, Alexander, and all of us here at Renee of Paris and Adirans, thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time, and uh, take care. Bye-bye.